for another Peaky Pointer video. And what you'll see here is I have a very large B4 zipper file. These I got from <clears throat> Daiso. We don't have a Daiso where I live, um, but you can get these occasionally on their webpage. But just to warn you, they'll send you like a box of what, like, 20 or so, and they come in a variety of colors. They come in pink, orange, green, and a light blue, and, um, and they send you an assortment of each. And these, at first I bought them to carry music, my large scores that I need inside of one of my backpacks so the music wouldn't get bent. I still use them for that, but something I recently started to do was I always have leftover pieces of scrapbook paper or Project Life cards or other ephemera. Um, and so I needed a place or a way to store that stuff a little bit more organized. So let's take a look and see what these look like. So here's the hot pink one. And what I have done, and I even have one that has, you know, photos of family and friends. Um, what I have done is I've taken these plastic sheets. I keep all of our cardstock from Peaky Dory Designs, each of the different colors in a different folder like this. These you can get at Office Max, Office Depot, Staples. They are the, what I, what these are is they are um, pocket folders for automotive repair places to put like paperwork and keys and all of that type of stuff in it. But they're the right size for a half by 11 cardstock. Um, they're a thick plastic, so it's a good way to keep uh, them protected from the elements and to keep the cardstock in good condition. But since I bought so many, I had extras that I decided why not keep uh, things that I eventually want to put in my journals in these to keep them safe. So, the let me take these four or five little... See, I've got a lot of stuff in here. You can fit a lot of stuff in here. Um, what you'll see is there's this mesh, and the mesh goes all the way through. Um, so technically it's one big pocket, um, or if, when it's folded, you actually have a pocket here and a pocket here. So what I did was I kind of separated my things, and sorry about that if Seamus shook the table and the, the tripod. What I did was I kind of separated them into different categories. Like these are um, Project Life cards and um, Project Life cards. This is from Courtney, and I, I put it on the back of a piece of cardstock that I'm going to use as a Project Life card. But, you know, lots of different things I have from different kits. So I have those in here. This one, lots of little different printouts of things that I can use. Um, this one has like Midori branded stuff. And then I also have um, uh, some recital concerts. Like I was a guest artist at Emporia State University a few years back visiting a friend of mine. Um, a concert we did a couple of years ago. Some things that I want to remember that, <laughs> yeah, it was 2014. I haven't gotten around to doing that, so maybe. Um, so what I do, is I like to keep these in here and then this one has like mailing cards like business cards Morgan the face trinkets paper geek my some Peaky Dory design cards in there even um, some eternal leather goods Ray Blake just um you know that I have that I, I might want to use one day in my notebook and so what I do is I put them in there in a quick little zip and see that is so neat, so organized, so kept together. And then this one right here, I think I only have one pocket in. This is a bunch of scraps. 
that I have from different scrapbook papers. And actually, this one I think can make a um, passport or field note size folder. Um, <laughs> I don't know why that got put in there, but it's in there. Um, so lots of different types of paper that I've used for things in the past. Like here's some beautiful peacock feathers, and here's some of that wonderful old French-looking parchment, and some, I think this is houndstooth, yeah, houndstooth on the back with a, like a black and gray damask. Actually, that's one of our, our folders. Um, and so is the, the Paris stuff. So, that's just a, oh, and these are some of my favorites, and I, they don't have them anymore at, um, I got these patterns at Michael's, and there was also a black and white hounds too that went with it, like all five of them came in there, it was beautiful. It was one of the recollection, recollection packets, but they don't, they don't make that one anymore. So I just wanted to show you a quick little video on how I like to keep my pieces of ephemera a little bit more organized. So when I am putting things in a journal or making a junk journal or, you know, looking for colors for something, I know exactly what I can go to. So if you have any questions about these, I will, the Dysa webpage is horrible. I will try and find this, but it's called a zipper file. If you go to their webpage and look under um, stationary files and folders, it'll be under there. And they come in a variety of sizes. This is a B4. You can get, um, you can get like a A5. You can get an A4, and you can even get like an A6, and I want to say like a little B6 as well. Um, and they're just, um, you know, polyvinyl. They have that, <laughs> those grooves on it. Um, and I've been using these for probably at least five years now. Um, not these ones, but, but I've used them for five years, and I even gave them to my students to keep their their music. So if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.